on the previous episode of Talk That Talk. I feel you. I feel you, bro. All right, go ahead, man. Are the old ways of band directing outdated? Uh, you know I think they're outdated. I mean, I've been saying it for years. So I want to look at it from a couple of different perspectives. First and foremost, a lot of people do, as Crystal said, what was done to them. And just because it was done to you doesn't make it right. But most importantly, that's something that we deal with as black people. We don't cherish something unless we feel like we earned it. You know, that's why you have a lot of these fraternities and sororities that can't stop hazing people because to them, you didn't come in the right way. And I know this because I have a lot of these conversations with my fraternity brothers on different occasions. The fact is, y'all, the world has changed. Back in 1980s, you could line up with your line brothers on campus. They'll whoop your tail on campus, and you just had to deal with it. The administration looked like, oh, they're going to play it. Just we good. They, they all right. Then the 90s happened, and they, people broke that down. And now everybody, oh, you ain't do what I did, so you solve. The fact of the matter is, y'all, the old head said the same thing to y'all when you came in your van. You solve. I know they said it to us. I know the generation before them and so forth. It's like we forget the fact that we were in the same shoes as these students and these uh, rookies in these bands, like Quan was saying, uh, sometimes. There's no compassion. I have to be, you. I have to feel like you earned it in order for you to be in my section. And the worst part about it is a lot of these people that are new to the band can outplay the person that's doing all this ignorance and stupid stuff to them. So I, I, to me, I think that's just stupid. And I know people are going to say, oh, whatever, dog. You, I didn't have to get my tail whipped and hazed all that mess to be in the band I was in. Like we've already talked about, they called my band a safe haven. They even did a documentary on it on HBO. So I'm sorry I didn't have to get beat up to be in my section. But uh, if we want to have a playing competition, my trumpet's right here because I still play. And if people wanna, that got their ass whipped to be in their band, if you want to play, we can do that. You know, so. I think that we got to get out of that mindset where you have to feel be treated like a slave in order to be feeling like you belong to something. The second part of it is from a, a physical standpoint, we are in a physical activity. We just are, man. Like you have to have a certain level of physical fitness to do band at a, a marching band in particular at a high level. So as it's already been said by Quan, I think, and Crystal, um, when it comes to physical training to be able to do your job as a marching member at a high level, that is not that needs to be there forever, you know. But if it's done from a, like Quan said, a punitive place, I think that's just done. And what I usually equate that to is that's a person that just doesn't know how to teach. They don't know how to get through to you. They don't know how to end up identify why the music sounds the way they don't want it to sound and how to fix it. So instead of doing that, they have you do reps over and over and over again. We've been to some of these ineffective rehearsals where, all right, set it up again. Let's do it again. No corrections, no nothing. Over and over and over and over and over again. And that's supposed to make it good. And if it's not, then we cuss you out a way we wouldn't talk to you if we didn't know you or make you run around the field all the time. So I think a part of it is identifying the fact that I don't know, but instead of me being able to do so, I take that anger out or that disappointment in myself out on other people. So I think, I don't think band directing is old. I think that there are a lot of unqualified people teaching band. 